the video comes along it requires absolutely zero technical support puff montages music and all the frills that go with it to make it interesting including a story sometimes you just have a video that's just that freaking awesome that it just gets slapped just splapped on the internet now I'm gonna make a call here Western Port Melbourne in the the dirty west uh, Western Port milky brown sometimes green murky craptacular Western Port is famous for gummy sharks for snapper for whining for squid and to a lesser extent Mulloway but for the few of us that target the Mulloway we know that the fish here are amongst the biggest in the world well definitely the biggest in Australia and I mean that I'm talking absolute freaking monsters giants so you're about to see what I'm talking about and that's why he and that beautiful face <laughs> is smiling so much why am I smiling so much? <laughs> because he wound in my fish. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right, check it out. Check it out. It's a little bit windier than we'd probably like, but we've uh, made the effort to boot around here anyway. And yeah, got a little bit wet in the process, but you, um, you did get to wind in a dew the other night. Okay, it's my turn now. Yes, yeah, so I did get a dew last week, so Adrian's kind of forced me to come back here. Not that I'll be complaining if we get another one, but um, what we're actually going to do is just sand up this this edge here, which is a relatively shallow edge and we're going to fish right on the bottom of this drop where it drops away into about five to seven meters. And I'm just going to sand down this edge and look for some, some sort of structure. Um, and generally, Jews are pretty structure orientate, orientated. And um, as we come up to that tide change, which is about an hour before darkness, the tide's going to turn to run in. They should uh, come out and feed. Oh, ho. I like that, Adrian. Yeah, nice. Keen to anchor on that. We just had a screaming run in the holder. It actually ran, swam towards us and I picked it up and it's just done these thumping head shakes. Might. Oh, what was it? I couldn't see it. 
I just, I think I saw a tail. Oh, it's just as I was putting the net in here, I didn't see it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amy and my wife in the front. Oh. <gasps> oh! That's a mega Jew. Back in the drag off. Dave, this is huge. I need to go. This is a mega Jew. Holy shit, did you see the shoulders on that? Yeah. Did you get that on camera? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe what we're witnessing here. Get ready, it's coming up. Oh, oh my look god. Look at that swirl. The thing's like 30 kilo. Cool. Take your time. Should I pull the anchor up? No, no. we're all right. We'll get another shot quick. Oh my god. I'm shaking now. I've seen the biggest jewfish ever. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's doing head shakes. Top top. Yep. Right. He's coming. He's dogging. Oh, there he is. Ah, he's not ready. He's not ready. Just watch him. I'm watching. This is a big fish. Come I'll on. get him, I'll get him. I just gotta walk back. Not yet, not yet. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh my god, babe, this is bigger than 30. <laughs> get over this get another gaff. Hang, hang on. I don't want this gaff to break off. <laughs> David, this thing is ginormous. Look at the tail. I don't even know what to say. I've done it. We've done it. Well done, Adrian. Look at that. Gamakatsu 5 <laughs> bang in the corner of the jaw. <laughs> He swam at the boat with the bait. Yeah! <laughs> I Look hooked him. Of it. I hooked him at the back of the motor. I'm like, oh my god, it's swimming towards us. Let's get some, let's tidy up, we'll get some baits out. <laughs> this is a big fish, Dave. Wow. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Look at the size of this mullowo. I can tell you now, this is the biggest fish I've caught in Western Port. <laughs> yeah, we were texting each other last night about uh, going for a big dewfish on, on Sunday afternoon and got to Sunday and the wind just didn't look right and then it started dying off again and Dave just said, um, you know, we'll just go for a squid and see how the wind turns out. Anyway, we caught about six or seven squid and made our way over here and the wind looked all right, so just chucked a couple of rods in and first 20 minutes, what, half an hour you reckon? We had rods in the water? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, we caught a nice 
five kilo snapper, we thought, oh, it's all right, it's looking fishy. And then about 20 minutes after that snapper, one of the rods just buckled and I've just grabbed it and we knew straight away it was a Jew. <laughs> Huge head shakes, weren't they? Oh, yeah. It actually swam towards the boat and as soon as I got tighter and it just took a massive run. Yep. And <laughs> this is what we got from it. And they're beautiful eating, aren't they? We're oh. going to absolutely enjoy this fish. Yep. Well, d we caught one last week, about a third of the size, and we ate that up and just ate so well. So this one's going to the, to the dinner table for sure. Some nice silverware. <laughs> We've got to give a big shout out to Brendan because we are in the mark that he's pioneered, on the mark that he's pioneered, I should say. But as he says, it's still not easy. You can have the mark and you've got to know how to fish it. And he's, <clears throat> over the years, I've done quite a lot of trips out here with him and um, I've picked up a lot of a lot of um, tidbits of information, the small things have fallen into place. And finally, we can come out here and know what we need to fall into place to get a good fish like this. Oh yeah, it's just incredible. Just happened easy for us tonight. 